HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Find the latest tips and tricks, videos, reviews, contests, and more. What's up guys, DJ Maniac Mike here, another quick how-to. Um, you all know about fruit bowls, they're all pretty much the same concept, you just pretty much make it flat in on both sides, uh, scoop out the middle, so um, yeah. Uh, this could be going out to you newbies out there, you've never done a fruit bowl, this will just give you another video up there showing you how to do it. Um, so i got a peach here. What I want to do, I don't really have the proper utensils, but I've got something that's going to work anyway. It's going to uh, cut a nice little flat edge off of the top and most, most likely guys are going to find that pit in the peach which in this case is going to be a good thing. So uh, just kind of work that top part of it around kind of like that and uh, pull it off. I can get the, the flattest guys, but whatever, it'll work. Now, you see your uh, pit there. What would work best in this case would be kind of a uh, decor type thing. But if you don't have that, you know, a knife's going to be just fine. Just make sure you're extremely delicate. Kind of just take your knife out there, work around that pit, that seed. It's actually going to be a small bowl, guys. I cut a little bit too much off the top, but it was a small piece to begin with, so I worked with what I had. Um, make sure that you get that around that seed, guys, because you don't want to uh, pull anything extra out that you don't want to come out, especially if it's a small piece of fruit like this. It's just kind of easily work that seed out. So as easily as you can, it's not really that easy, but like I say, a uh, decor or something like that would be your best way to go on something like this. I think we almost got it though guys. Take a spoon. Be careful as you're prying that thing out not to uh, you know, pry to the point that you're going to break the rim of the bowl of the peach which actually it's looking like I'm kind of doing, but not so, not so bad. One final twist. Got it out. Alright, so, right there you have a pretty good bowl all on its own, just by taking that seed out. Um, I did, it didn't break all the way, so it's going to be acceptable, guys. If you want, depending on how much tobacco you're going to use, you know, make it a little bit wider of an opening. This looks pretty good. I'm not going to use a whole lot of tobacco, so maybe just a little bit out. And it doesn't necessarily have to be artistic, guys. Um, you know, you do want a little bit of uh, some symmetry in there anyways, I guess the word I'm looking for. Um, now as far as the bottom, 
In this case, it's very small, so I'm just going to easily make a small cut in it with a knife just so I get something started. Peach is a soft fruit, so you got to be careful. Kind of poke that down in the bottom. This is the nipple that goes on your stem. And I kind of take my finger in there at the bottom of the peach to give it a little bit of stability in there and just kind of work that stem or that nipple right up through it, being careful not to uh, break that peach. Get a little bit of that excess stuff off of the bottom. Pretty good, guys. There you go. Your peach bowl on the nipple. I'm going to uh, go ahead and scrape this out some more, make a little bit more of a bowl in there, which I don't think you need to really see me do. So you get the idea. Um, one thing about your fruit bowls, guys, is you're going to have that hole at the bottom where the stem is coming up. Uh, so you got to be careful not to get your tobacco in there. What I like to do in that situation usually is just find a few stems and the tobacco itself, kind of lay it on the bottom and then load everything on top. Or another thing you can do is just take your little toothpick, whatever, kind of break it up and then lay down there on the bottom and then load your tobacco on it. So there you have it, a peach bowl. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, like I say, scrape that out a little bit more, get some stuff going in it. DJ Maniac Mike Hookah Pro .com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Be sure to check us out. Thanks to Hookah Pro, Sambuca, and Sahara Smoke for the summer 2010 and 10 contest. Till next time, smoke on.